Dan Gillespie here. I'm the Director of Technical Services for Alder Color Solutions. I'm here today to bring you another tech tip. Today I'm talking about uh, wide gamut CMYK profiles and color spaces. And if you're not familiar with wide gamut color spaces, they're fairly new and maybe because they don't ship with the Adobe Creative Cloud. These profiles you would have to download and install to have. What we're looking at here is a gamut plot of uh, several different things. First of all, we have US Web Coded Swap, which is the default CMYK working space in Adobe Creative Cloud. You can see I'm turning that on and off. Uh, the larger one is Grackle, otherwise known. This is Grackle 2013 coded, otherwise known as CRPC6. And then we have five wide gamut profiles. Uh, first of all, we have the Chroma Checker profile. Uh, I'm turning some of these off so that you can see the Chroma Checker profile and the Onyx profile. This one is distributed with Thrive. This is distributed with Chroma Checker software. The Roland wide gamut is distributed with VersaWorks. So you can see how much larger these are than the standard CMYK color spaces. Um, I think the probably the most popular or at least uh, readily accessible published wide gamut CMYK profile is this print wide. But you can see here that uh, it's quite a different shape than these other ones. While it is larger in the green to yellow and yellow to orange side, it is smaller in the magenta and blue side. As I turn this on and off, you can see the size of it here. So it's a quite a different shape and therefore will yield different results. But as we come down here and uh, look at the Roland uh, profile as well as the a uh, wide dash CMYK profile, we can see that, you know, all of these will yield different results. So, you know, if you don't have a gamut viewer, you might want to think about getting something like this. This is uh, Chromix ColorThink, and ColorThink uh, enables you to take any ICC profile and plot it in two dimensions or three dimensions so that you can do some analytics and comparisons. So in order to see what this looks like uh, you know, to an image, we'll switch over to Photoshop. And I have a couple of different examples here. Um, this first image was uh, converted to the default Adobe Creative Cloud uh, working space, which is a, a profile called US Web Coded Swap V2 that was published in 1996. Um, and it has a very small gamut. That is the gamut that we were looking at here in the center, the smallest gamut. And next to that, we have <clears throat> the same image with the print wide profile assigned not converted, but assigned. And the far right image, we have chroma checker or wide gamut assigned. And you can see that, you know, first of all, both of the wide gamut color spaces uh, have a lot more saturation. Um, but you can see that uh, the print wide, you know, yields a, quite a bit of a different blue here if you're looking at this flower versus the flower in Chroma Checker Wide Gamut. And also the red in her shirt, uh, you can see is quite a bit different hue of red. So, you know, it doesn't mean one color space is better or worse. It just means that they're different and one might work for some images better and the other might work for other images better. So, Hopefully you uh, can take advantage of these wide gamut profiles. For designers, it gives them the ability to work in a large gamut like an RGB space, but in CMYK. And for print production professionals, it enables them to kind of trick their systems. They're able to use these profiles as source profiles in their print workflows 
to enhance color and yield the most saturated results that they possibly can. Uh, both of these profiles are also G7 gray balanced. So hopefully you found that helpful. Have a wonderful day.